Welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live. We've got a big milestone for SpaceX today. The first all civilian crew is headed to orbit this evening. If that trip is successful, it would mark a big leap for space tourism. For more on that, let's bring in Yahoo Finance's Inez Ferre. Inez, it, it feels like just over the last three months, there have been so many firsts within this space. How does this particular trip, aside from the fact that it's the first all civilian crew, stand out from some of these other trips that we've seen from Virgin Galactic, as well as Jeff Bezos and Blue Origin? Yeah, this uh, this mission is so uh, amazing, really, to watch. Uh, first of all, it's called Inspiration Four. It is uh, there are non professional astronauts on there, so all civilian, four of them. Uh, Jared Isaacman, he's thirty eight years old. He's a billionaire. He's also the founder and CEO of Shift for Payments. That's a payments company. Uh, he is funding this mission, and he donated uh, two of the uh, other seats to St Jude's Hospital, and he also. So uh, had a contest where another person was selected for, for a seat as well. So the three people, the other three people that are going are a 29-year-old uh, physician's assistant from St. Jude Hospital. She's also a cancer survivor, and she will be the youngest American to go to orbit. You also have uh, a woman named Sian Proctor. She's 51 years old, geologist, a STEM professor. She uh, won that ticket, uh, won that what that seat to go. And then you have also a, a, a uh, an employee of Lockheed Martin. There was a raffle for St. Jude's for a ticket, and that person gifted it to Christopher Sombrowski, who's that employee at Lockheed Martin. He's worked in the aerospace business, and he will be going. So this is going to be different because it's also a three-day uh, mission it, orbiting the Earth. And besides being really a trip of a lifetime, they will also be conducting experiments in microgravity as well. Yeah, Jared Isaacman, been on the show before uh, with us here, uh, Shift 4, as you mentioned. Uh, but, and that's, I, you know, it is kind of an interesting space because as fast as it's growing, you know, you think about these companies as competitors, right? I mean, maybe SpaceX isn't necessarily targeting uh, consumers just yet, but I mean, all of this kind of builds on the excitement of space travel. And you think it might even boost maybe some of those companies like a Virgin Galactic. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I had a conversation with Robert Jacobson. He's an author and also involved in the space investment uh, area. And he was saying, you know, when you're comparing uh, this mission with other missions, it's really apples to oranges because Branson and Jeff Bezos, their recent missions were suborbital. And those are suborbital flights, which are very difficult to do uh, and take a lot of coordination. But this is an orbital flight, which it takes much more technical capability. It takes a lot more fuel, a lot more resources. It's just so much so much of a bigger scope. And their altitude will be reaching 575 kilometers. Just to give you an idea, the International Space Station is at around 422 kilometers. So they're going farther out even than the International Space Station, higher up. So this is something that's such a different scope. I mean, SpaceX really since the beginning has been in the orbital field, um, going into orbit. Uh, as far as uh, uh, Blue Origin, Jeff Bezos' company, it plans to do that. Is but it's and they started roughly around the same time, close to, to the same time. But SpaceX really has sort of surpassed all of these. And of course, then Virgin Galactic is really for uh, space tourism. So different companies, different types of missions, but certainly, yeah, when something like this happens, all of them are watching because it's really a boost for the space industry in general. Yeah, different businesses, different missions, but the stocks, investors, all hoping that they land to the moon. They want to go, <laughs> and that's for bringing us the latest yeah. there.